Hey guys, join me for my walkthrough as we fat test uh, all of the rides here at Bush Gardens for my very first visit. Also, let me just start out by saying this is a great addition to a park. I've never seen this at any other park where you can check the minimum height requirements for every ride. First thing we see is some stilt walkers. Hi. Hi, good morning. How are you doing? I'm fantastic. How about y'all? <laughs> Alright, the first thing I'm doing is turning right, and here we have the American crocodile. Looks like our first test is going to be cheetah hunt. Alright, here's the test seat, and I did just see a gentleman smaller than me not be able to fit, so... Uh, I can tell how this is going to go, but we're going to show it anyway. Unfortunately, can't get the light to turn green. Looks like Skyride is still closed. This does require the highest level of um, height. It, you've got to be 56 inches. Apologies. It says is, you can be accompanied uh, by someone 14 or older. Across from Cheetah Hunt is the Serengeti Overlook, where they do have an annual pass member lounge. Let me check that out. All right, it looks like it doesn't open till 12, so we'll see about coming back. This is pretty cool. Oh, there you can see the zebras. All right, next up we have Cobra's Curse. Not sure if this test seat is themed or if that's what it's supposed to look. Here we go. Will it turn green? Nope. All right, next up, we're going to do Montu. All right, here's the test seat. This is laughable. As expected, unfortunately, the seat is a little too narrow, and this groin thing does not help. Um, Montu fails the fat test. On to the next one. The first three things we tried were pretty high intensity roller coasters. Outside of Disney World, we pretty much know those just don't work. They do not make those for bigger people. So we're gonna keep trying them uh, and see what happens from here, but don't give up. I'm sure there's plenty of other small rides and there's all the animal attractions to go do here at Bush Garden. By the way, there are about 19 rides here and they have a lot of coasters. So if you love roller coasters and can fit in them, uh, this is a great park for that. All right, we're next up is the Nairobi train station. Looks like I've got about 15 minutes before it actually uh, takes off though. Our engineers the whole trip is gonna be about 40 minutes. Just after the station to the right hand side of the train. I'm happy to make a little sudden. Actually, white. They got the name from the mistranslated word that meant walk. Don't try to outrun the white rhino. Back up here, you can look out to your left and see the great zebras. I was wrong. Mom and the baby were on the other side, and they're so cute. I hope I get video of them. So I actually went ahead and got off at the Congo train station, which puts me at the north part of the park so we can continue our tour. And that puts us right into a classic bumper car ride. So getting in and out of this thing might be a challenge. It is low to the ground, but it is just a lap bar. So we'll see how this goes. It looks like it's a pretty um, low capacity ride, but probably not that popular. If you ever want to see adults get extremely silly, put them in bumper cars. We'll see if they allow this. It's uh, not very far down. Good 
alert. I can't believe it, but it actually passed the fat test. <laughs> I haven't seen little boats like this in forever. This is old school. Less fat test Congo River Rapids. And yes, there's only two R's apparently. So far, there's not actually been a water ride that I've not been able to fit on. The one at Universal was pretty tight and I needed help, but I did fit. There's a giant Komodo dragon on the entrance. By the way, there's no line again. I forgot to bring an extra pair of socks again. So I just took mine off and put them in my pocket. We'll see if this works. So I didn't fit uh, with the regular belt, but they did have an extension belt on this ride. Well, I'm definitely soaked. <laughs> so that was a very short rapids there was actually no big drop like you typically see on most rapid rides uh, but it was a lot of fun and i definitely am soaked amazingly my shoes my socks did stay dry now my shoes are soaked so i'm gonna let them dry a little bit and then put these back on time to fat test kumba at bush gardens tampa All right, now it's time to fat test Kumba. Here's the test. Here's the seat right here. All right, guys, unfortunately, this seat is too narrow and uh, my ass is not, so I will not be fitting in this ride. Y'all, there's a Chick-fil-A. That's awesome. I have never seen a Chick-fil-A in a theme park. Go Chick-fil-A. Side note, I was once named Chick-fil-A raving fan of the year for one of the local franchises. The Wild Surge is apparently a family-friendly ride. Let's see how it is. Also back here, they have a giant jungle gym play area. It looks like it's closed right now, but it looks uh, kind of like the Boneyard in uh, Animal Kingdom. See, Disney rides don't have those. Busch Gardens, uh, SeaWorld, and Universal have them on a lot of rides. They are so uncomfortable, especially for men. So the Phoenix is closed. We cannot test that one. All right, let's see about the kids coaster, Sand Serpent. Sorry, apparently that's Sand Serpent. I called this a kid coaster. I think I was wrong. Oops, because nobody in line's a kid. All right, you do have to put both your legs under one side of the bar. So, uh, but I did fit and it worked. Well, that was embarrassing. Um, it started to go and then they stopped it and they said I need to push it down a little bit more. I got one more click down. They said they needed one more. Could not get it there. So had to walk, get off the ride. Uh, that was embarrassing. <clears throat> anyway, but, um, if you're just a little bit smaller than me, you should be able to make it fit. So Bushwires is a kid's ride and you do have to be 56 inches or less to ride this ride. So I cannot test this one because I am too tall, not just too fat. So back behind the uh, bush flyers, they have the little kitty train. I didn't even know this is back here, so you need to check them out. And they have these little go-kart, or not go-kart, motorcycle ride um, things. Well, des I think it's called the Desert Rider. All right, next up is Falcon's Fury, but it's closed, but they have a test seat. So I'll show you guys this. So unfortunately, unless they have like a lot of seatbelt extensions and they don't mind and it doesn't have to go down much further, um, I don't think it's going to pass the test. But the seat's better. It just started raining. Oh, and they stopped it. Nope. Is it gonna go? This looks terrifying. Oh, they're just kind of, oh, and they just pause you there. That's great. Nope. Wait, that's not Scorpion. This is Scorpion. I was just told that it's just a lap bar, so I may be okay, but uh, they also said try the back because that should have a little extra space. 
So they're shutting down their eye because of the rain, but um, they are going to let me test the seat for you guys anyway, so I can at least show you uh, how I fit in. The, you have to fit both your legs under here. That's my biggest concern on this one. So I finally found a roller coaster to fit on and they shut it down for the rain, but I do fit and they were nice enough to let me try. By the way, that was just very nice of the uh, team members here to allow that. I uh, really appreciated that. They certainly. <laughs> All right, time to go try the log flumes. I'm already wet. Stanley Falls flumes. The line is massive. There's your ride vehicle. There is plenty of room for me in here. No problem at all. Because it is free floating though, I can feel it like wobbling a little bit. <laughs> I try to keep it balanced. How many drops? Oh boy. Whoa! That wasn't too bad. All right, time for the big one. I made it. <laughs> that was refreshing. <laughs> Getting out was a little difficult, but it passed the test. All right, time for a Shikra. Ugh. We have seen this before. Yep, seat's too narrow. I ain't gonna lie, I'm kind of happy that I didn't fit on that one. That's scary. I made it. Ha! Okay, I totally missed those splash zone lines. Time to fat test Tigris. This is a very unique ride because it kind of just does circles, loops, and twists in a very compact space. So this test seat looks almost exactly like the icebreaker test seat, which unfortunately did not work. Yes, larger guess, that's me. So these straps are very hard to get over me. So I'm gonna guess that's not gonna work because also this is not coming very far down. It happens, oh well. I got turned around so I asked an ambassador, which is what I guess they call their employees. Uh, can you tell me how to get to Sesame Street? And he completely missed it. Also on the way to Sesame Street is this. Before we go see Big Bird, let's go see these birds at Lori's Landing. Lori Landing, an interactive bird experience. So I paid $5, it was a dollar off with my discount uh, for annual pass, and uh, it's for the parakeets. It's red fonted macaws. All right, here's what we're supposed to do. I am under attack. They came right up on me very quickly. Can you get in? Can you go into it that way? <laughs> Uh, this is awesome and terrifying. One of them was literally on my phone. Yes. Hi. They're very friendly. Please don't poop. This is the coolest thing. Oh, and I got another one on me. Hi. They keep trying to get my nails. Y'all have to do that if you come here. Just spend the five, six dollars, whatever it is. It's awesome. We made it to Sesame Street Safari of Fun. There's a story time at four. I hope we can make that. Uh, looks like we missed all the meet and greets though. I'm not going to do it, but I kind of want some Sesame Street stuff. Okay, I just lied because if this is on uh, my size, which odds are against it 
I'm gonna get it. So the shirts like this go to 2X, which is much better than Disney, because usually you can hardly find a 2X there. And then the washed out uh, kind of look goes to 3X. So they have this a little uh, climbing play area here. That's pretty cool looking. Again, it looked like the one earlier, but this one's actually opened. So then they have this kids ride, Counts Zambezi Rally. You have to be under 56 inches tall. I think they've got a lot of like, just pure kids rides here. Yeah, no adults fitting in that. It's called Treehouse Trek, by the way. For Rosita's Jimbe Flyway, you actually have to be under 42 inches tall and you have to be under 56 inches tall um, on the whirly bird, big bird's whirly bird. For the canopy crawl, you do have to be accompanied by a child. Well, I was gonna play in uh, Telly's Jungle Jam, but you have to be accompanied by a child here too. Aw. <laughs> For the safari go round, you have to be under 56 inches tall. Right, you have to be under uh, 56 inches to ride uh, Snuffy's Elephant Romp. But you also have to be over 36 inches or accompanied by a companion. So the 56 inches does not apply if you are uh, riding with a kid. Zoe Patra and the Hippo of the Nile. This is a cute little ride. It's so busy, there's one little hippo out there. They also have Bert and Ernie's watering hole, little kids area, that's cute. Looks like they're setting up the train depot for Christmas right now. So it is not up and running. I can't think of his name, Ross, something. Let's try Air Grover, it looks like I can actually do this one. There's nobody waiting in line to ride poor Air Grover. So here's Air Grover. There's the seats. You have to fit between those things. Air Grover passes. Hi, buddy. Oh. Yep. Telly. Telly, come back out. We got to read a story. I know, and our friend is here again. And we have some new friends. <laughs> All right. I think we're ready to ask for some more friends. Hi. Hi, Abby. Abby. You look so cute. And last but certainly not least, I think I need you to shout out for me. Who's my last friend? You? It is Elmo! Good job! Hi, Elmo. All right, friends, are we ready? You, so many pages. This is a story that's all about you and all the spectacular things that you do. So please come along and we'll show you what's true. There is only one and only wonderful you. Look Flamingos. And a squirrel. This is pretty awesome. They have a, they're constantly playing uh, American or military songs in support of our troops. Let's go to the Kookaburra Avery. From Kookaroo to Kangaroo, look at these guys. Just hanging out. This is pretty funny. Let's check out the Gwazi Gliders. Never mind, you have to be under 56 inches to ride this one. So I was gonna show you guys Iron Gwazi, but it is closed. And the test seat is inside somewhere. 
It is the tallest and fastest hybrid coaster in the world, which um, a hybrid coaster means it is wooden and uh, steel. It's a mixture. Goes up to 73 miles an hour, but we're not gonna get to try it out and see if it would pass the fat test. I'm gonna guess no if I'm making plans, but eh. Hope you guys enjoyed that walkthrough. Please make sure to subscribe and like, and check out the bio or the description for all kinds of cool links. And I really appreciate you guys. Where should I go to next? Go live your life, whatever size you are.